The plan is to take our small hover disk and make one big enough to ride. So I'm off with Helena to another part of the Science Center to meet Russell, who has some ideas on how we can do it. How you doing, Russell? You're doing, Phil. So this is the hover disk. This is our small hover disk. Yes. How does it work? Well, um, obviously you sit on here. Right. Air will go into here. It gets vented through all these separate holes here, so we get an airflow over the entire area. But hopefully this will work to, to pick someone up. All we need is air. Larger balloon. Oh, okay. Ah, sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh, twist it so it doesn't. Uh, he's losing his air. Okay. All right. On again. <laughs> you grab right. one side, I grab the other. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. here we go. Go. It's not, it doesn't uh, feel way too much. It doesn't friction. feel like no. there's, there's a, it still feels pretty frictiony. I think, uh, I think we might need something more than a balloon. So what do we do? Well, I think we need more consistent air going through here. Okay. So not a balloon. Not a balloon. Something I don't know. Opposite to a vacuum cleaner. Opposite to a vacuum cleaner. That would be a. Uh, like a leaf blower. Like a leaf blower. A leaf yes. blower. Right? High five. Yeah. Awesome idea. Yeah, yeah, so it is. why don't we make a couple larger uh, discs and we'll hook some leaf blowers to them and, and we'll see what happens. Definitely give it a go. Okay, great. The plan now is to make a leaf blower powered disc by starting with a big circle of wood, cutting a hole in the wood where the air will come through, and then covering the bottom with a tarp that has many holes cut out of it for the air to escape. Because leaf blowers are made to push lots of air, hopefully there'll be enough for me to ride it. So I get on here, and okay. then Helena, if you want to turn it on. Uh, yeah. So once we fire it up, the air coming out from the bottom of the disc raises me up and I float on a cushion of air. I can't control it. Because the friction between the disc and the floor is so low, I end up floating wherever Helena and Russell push me. Whoa! Okay, okay. Wow, that worked amazing. Not too much control though. I have no control <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah, no. If we have two hover disks, then we can race them using different kinds of friction to push them along. Something that has low friction, like a dust mop, and something that has higher friction, like a pole with rubber balls at the end. Rubber has great friction. That's why we make car tires and the treads of our shoes out of rubber. On your marks, get set, and go! And we're off. Remember, Helena and I are using very different methods to get our hover disks moving. I'm using a low friction dust mop, and Helena is using high friction rubber balls. Oh, Bifana, Bifana, he's way higher from the wind, it's the wind! Oh. She crosses the line. Yes! And here we have our winner. Yes! yes. Over the finish line, and oh. it feels way back over there. Oh, uh, man. I still suck at the second turn. Way to go, Helena, Thank nice. You. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max Experiments at Large. <laughs>